Hey guys, I'm going to do my uh, review and unboxing, I guess, on the Titan Fitness Bison Bar. Um, so I'll just do a couple close-ups and I'll do a couple lifts with it today and share my thoughts on what this bar is like. So I'll give a close-up real quick and uh, this is the scratch and dent version. Uh, on their page so I got it for cheaper I think it was like 90 bucks after tax so uh, but it didn't come in a box or anything so it's kind of marked up but I mean that's what they say is gonna happen uh, to to the bar they're gonna say you know it comes with cosmetic flaws and all that so here's the end cap it's kind of cool but I mean yeah then like I, I mean I'm not an Olympic lifter or anything and I don't really care how much the bar spins but it seems to spin okay um, but I mean this thing is covered covered in shipping labels um, got scratches down the whole thing pretty much more labels down here so I mean the thing is I don't know you get what you paid for I guess um, yeah I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know what I think Initial thoughts on the Titan Fitness Bison Bar for squatting. I did okay. The bar weighs 50 pounds. I ended up uh, I ended up working up to I think 320, and I hit it for a triple. Uh, I don't really train a lot of legs, so that's good for me. I know there's like 14 year olds. In high school and stuff that can hit 500 pounds right <laughs> so uh but yeah that's good enough for me um i got the tight fitness safety squat bar too and uh that weighs 65 pounds empty and it has a cushion which i mean i'm not used to squatting so even a little over 300 is like tough on my upper back uh the negative part about it, I got the camera facing me, so I'm gonna try to get this in here. Uh, there we go, can't really tell, uh, but, where am I here, right here. The J cups, this, well, they wanna pop out because of the curvature of the barbell. They wanna like pop out on you here. So, I was trying to rack my 320, and I had like a near death exper experience on it, man. So. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I mean, not bad, not bad cosmetically speaking. I mean, this is dog crap, but you get what you pay for. I should have paid like 30 more dollars. I would have had a perfect bar. All right, back again with the bison bar. Um, so, I haven't really done the math, but I got two 33 pounders here. 
on Old Faithful. And uh, let's see, that's 66, 66 and 66 is uh, what we got there. That'd be 65, 65, 130, 132 plus 50 pound bar, so 182. Uh, just hit three strict presses, only went down to my chin, so those range of motion haters can hate. Um, so for overhead press work, I would not push press with this. You, you would have to be, uh, I don't know. I don't know why you would do that, but do not push press with this. You'll probably die. Um, but for strict press, this bar is wobbly. Um, very hard to control for a overhead movement. Um, my best with 185 on Titan Fitness axle barbell, right over there, is uh, I hit 185 for seven, and that was uh, to collarbone uh, with a slight pause. So, I mean, this was like not really pausing much, and uh, yeah, so she is wobbly. I'm gonna try it out on bench. Just did bench a couple days ago, so I'm not expecting it to go well, but I will try. My thoughts on the Titan Bison Barbell for bench press. Um, with the curve and the bar, of course, you're going to have that extra range of motion since it's not a straight bar. You're going to be going down farther on your chest. Um, I did chest a couple days ago. It was my, my heavy week of Wendler 531. So, uh, my chest is already fatigued going into it, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Worked up to 280 for a dub. Uh, I don't know. I feel like with this bar, you're more likely to get a uh, a pec strain. I would keep it like very light. I would not even come close to 300 with it, unless you're benching like 500. Uh, I don't know. I might use it for like speed week. Maybe the other issue too, is I got the Titan fitness, um, contest bench, I guess the really heavy duty bench. That's kind of like a tank <laughs> and, uh, I can't put my safety arms down low enough. I had them, uh, uh, I mean, that's just cause of my body type. I'm short, so I couldn't get it low enough. So it's actually hard for me to touch my chest on the uh that barbell the bison bar it's with the extra curve it's i don't know it's kind of hard to touch the chest with it i think it's a good bar for squatting though i mean i did a lot better today on squats than i have i have in months probably years but yeah i don't know it's an okay bar overall I mean, if you buy a scratch and dent, be prepared for your bar to look like it fell off the delivery truck 10 times and maybe he ran it over at the same time. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's ugly, but it's functional. 